uh, sharp, I guess. Wallpaper... On, I guess. Arcade wallpaper. That's how that looks. We'll do the US ROM free play. Mark. Hey, Hydro. Okay. I'm just double checking. Didn't I turn the background on? I turned it on. Oh. That's the wallpaper? Oh, that's ridiculous. Look at that. Oh, that's silly. Is that really the only option? Okay. These Ninja Turtles and X-Men got cooler... Uh... Thank you for reminding me. This always happens when I switch games. Never remember to um, change the title. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, let's see if it pops up. I was just searching. The list is not even loading for me. Look at the hamster. It's like a buck too. Yeah, it's weird. The list is not even loading for me. It's glitched. Uh, maybe I should try in um in the browser. Because the and no BS is just not loading for me. Creator dashboard. Load for me, creator dashboard. There we go. Simpsons Hit and Run, The Simpsons Game, Simpsons Nightmare. Aha! The arcade game. Yay! Okay, update it. Okay. Alright, good night, Stevie Comebacks. Thank you for dropping by. Hi, Scooter. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, we're playing on the 360. I've been playing all delisted games tonight. We started with uh, Ninja Turtles, um, Turtles in Time, or uh, Shelled, that Ubisoft remake. Then we started with the 1989 classic Ninja Turtles. Then we beat uh, X Men Arcade. Now we're beating um, the. Simpsons. We're playing all the delisted stuff. Consumer, isn't it? Uh, I am too. I, I, I don't get it. Ready? Go! 
I thought I was gonna say ready, set, go. I wasn't ready. Oh, now I know they don't say set. I like when games are arcade based on loose info. Uh, what do you mean, Yuki? Ooh. I picked this up. I can't. Otto, give me a soda. Hey, Santa's little helper. Donuts. Oh, Scooter, you should check out my controller. This is a um, Mad Cats controller, um, officially licensed for, for Capcom. Uh, my Chung Lee Street Fighter 4 fight pad. So, because playing games with this thing is horrible. This game was good for playing just regular Xbox 360 games, but for fighting games or arcade games, this sucked. So, since I'm mostly into like the arcade stuff that was on the Xbox 360, I mostly played on this, which I loved. Oh, the Simpsons game, um, I based on the very beginning of what they thought the series would be. Um, I, I love the art style when the Simpsons started. It was very crude. Like when you saw the Tracy Ullman show uh, skit they did, it just looked very different in modern Simpsons. It would have been cool to get a game that looked like that. Uh, which we got a modern remake of Bart and the Space Boots in it. Um, yeah, that's true. I mean, there was the NES version and the Genesis version. But the Genesis version is kind of a modern version, but yeah, if it was completely redone, like a 2.5D, I think that would be awesome. Um, I definitely want to do another NES stream where I make another attempt at that game. Because I, I kind of have the first stage memorized. I could beat the first stage, but the second is really difficult. So I definitely will do another run of that on a future NES stream, because I do really like Art in the Space Mutant. Yeah, what's great about the controller is the, the D-pad feels like a Saturn, Sega Saturn D-pad, where it's like that floaty um, pad. It's so good. And the buttons are huge in this thing. They're really nice. So it's perfect for, like, beat em up beat. And the thing is, there was no controller like this on the Xbox 360. Not until this one was made. So it was really cool to... Just everything with the 360 was really like pushing first person shooters. And it wasn't that fighting game friendly unless you got like an actual arcade stick for a full, I guess. Oh, I just remember another thing I want to check out is uh, Game Room. I don't know if anyone's aware of Game Room. Game Room was a virtual arcade that you could like design. And you could buy arcade machines to put in the arcade. Um, and they, they closed it down so you can't make any more purchases. But I have a lot of arcade games on there. Mostly Atari games. So we could check out Game Room. I missed that. I, w I, I wish that they had done something similar to that on the Xbox One, and they didn't. I don't know if you remember Game Room. Uh, oh. But I was I was a huge investor in that, and so it really sucked when they just gave up on it. Hey, Snowball! Number two. Oh, that sucks. Right when I was going to throw it, he hit me. Waste of tech. Well, yeah, Microsoft at that time was doing a lot of that. They started, they were, they were acting like Google. They would start something and then just give up on it. They did that with, remember there was a game show, I forgot. It was like a live game show that you could be part of. And it was really innovative. And then they just gave up on it, even though people really liked it. 
I didn't say through a game room. They just gave up on it. It's like, why why innovate and make these cool things and then just say, you know, F you to people who supported it. I just don't really get that. And then they didn't kind of do anything with the Xbox One in terms of, like, the creativity they did with the arcade stuff. Yeah, one in a hundred. One versus a hundred. They gave up on that quick. Uh, there's a rumor that it's coming back. I heard something about that. I don't know if it's true. Hey, look at that frog with his eyes. Get out of it. Like, what the heck, man? Same shot, I. <laughs> oh, I, I, I love that frog from Yoshi's Island. That's why I made it a, you know, my favorite. I love the little derpy, like, cynical little smirk here. Who the hell are you? I think I'm safe in a zombie. Oh, no, they're not. I think I could change characters. What happens is with X-Men, they didn't let me change characters. But when you die, let's see. I just spammed the start button and died. What character should we be next if we can? Did you remember that frog from Yoshi's Island? That was a boss fight. Remember? Like you're ready to fight the boss and then he just eats you. And you have to keep throw shooting eggs at his tonsils. He spits you up and then he dies. It's such a weird boss fight. <laughs> yep. Have an elevator level. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what was his reaction. I have to look that up now. I do love how in, in um, Yoshi's story, Yoshi was always going. Wah! I couldn't believe all the stuff he was doing. Wow. He would eat a fruit. He was like, wow. Everything was wow to him. Ooh, a hot dog. Mm, I love random hot dogs and barrels. Mm, I should have saved that for later. <laughs> He's like some crazy shit. Oh, do you have like the big wide eyes? Uh, yeah, look, I can't change characters. That's exactly what it, it does in the uh, X-Men game. I don't get that. And I thought, oh, they'll patch it. No, they never patched it. Yeah, it was Konami. I don't know, like, oh, you could only change characters when you're playing with other people. Why? Why can you only change characters when you're playing with other people? What if you're playing solo?
Okay, let me see this. <laughs> His eyes. That's a great shot. Yoshi seen some shit. I'm sure Yoshi was surprised. He didn't expect to be swallowed by a ball. He's like, I'm the one who swallows shit. I I'm not the one who gets swallowed. They were, but it's weird that the first one, the the Ninja Turtle one, the Ninja one, Ninja Turtle one came out, I think in 90, uh, 2007 or so, or no, something like that. And that one allowed you to change turtles, but yet the arcade games that came after that they limited, which doesn't make any sense. And I think these were all done by Digital Eclipse. So I just, I just, I'm confused. Hi, Smelly McTroll. Like I said, didn't have the. Uh, well, it, in the X Men, I chose to play the US ROM. They put the Japanese ROM in there too. So in the Japanese ROM, you can power up your. Um, they have the, the capsules. Also, there's the Japanese. I'm playing the US version of this, but in the Japanese version of this, they have um, atomic bomb power ups. So you can just blow up the enemies. So like, they have both versions. So it's, it's a nice little feature. No, it has it. It has it. I, I played it. It does have it. After this, after I beat this, I'll, I'll jump back into it. I'll show you. Or you, are you saying it doesn't have the capsules in single player? It might not have the capsules in single player. But I, I, I played it online with people and I, there were capsules. You can check. You can go back and check. Oh, and single player. Oh, I think you're right. I remember that now. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you're right. But yeah, single player, they you can't change the character and you, you didn't have the power-up capsule. Pick another character, but Konami said no. I love these arcade machines. Look, it's aliens. I wish they would have ported aliens. I would have bought it. That's one of my favorite arcade games. So, I gotta do another arcade stream with my retro cave. On my last um, retro page stream, I did play through uh, Aliens. How I fight a drunk. Just some dude passed out behind the bar. This, this is a weird boss fight. Fight the random drunk dude passed out behind the bar. Alright, sure. <laughs> yes, Scooter, I recommend a retrocade. Like, if you're fine using a retro arc, I found retro arc completely confusing. At least uh, the retro cage is plug and play. You plug it in, you don't gotta worry about all the settings. And... Every time I've seen somebody stream retrocade, they're they're fidgeting with the controls. Like the control settings are just not. It doesn't work, or you have to like. It was really confusing. <laughs> it could be Smithers, but I, I don't think that's Smithers. Look, it's 
Homer. Rock and roll is too off screen. Slingshot height. No rocks at each other. Up primitive. Watch out for this raccoon. <laughs> Look at that bear in the background. We're gonna be seeing him later. song that was a song a whole music video and everything oh yeah you your switch pro controller with retro arc that's cool I am surprised that Nintendo allowed their controllers to be paired with a PC. Like, it's native. Like, you don't have to, like, do any hacks or anything. Like, they've never did that before. I find that very interesting. Like, uh, use it on a PC. Go, go ahead. I say Retro Arc is better than the Switch and emulating N64 games? No. Okay, this level is all what the fuck. This is the what the fuck level. Donuts? I love donuts. Yeah, that's crazy. So that's a very un-Nintendo thing to do. To, to make their con uh, controller compatible with anything other than a Nintendo system. That's de definitely would not have done that during any other era. So that's an interesting thing. Yeah, they did. They they're listening to people. They they fixed the N64 thing. Uh, we have time. See, to me, it wasn't a big deal because I'm not planning on playing through Ocarina of Time. I I didn't. I thought it looked fine. I'm not someone that's going to judge whether there's fog or not. Like I didn't really care. But um. People are very hardcore about that game and they noticed those things, so I'm glad that they listened and they fixed it. Uh, 
Uh, I'll keep doing with the weed. I think. Yes, I believe so. That 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 Wii U GameCube um, adapter. I need to plug that into PC. It was the the official one. You could do that, right? Because I know there was a non-official. It was like a hyper thing. Yeah, I just I didn't really. It, wasn't that weird? Like people are just really angry about that fog not being there or being there. And they were like demanding their fifty dollars back and all this shit. And then people were like, I think a lot of people wanted the N sixty four game specifically for Mario Kart sixty four. I think that was like the main reason. Because really. there's so many ways to play Ocarina of Time. Like it, it wasn't really that big of a deal. Like there's literally a thousand ways to play. Ocarina. Oh. It's the best boss in the whole game, the bowling ball boss. And as far as I know, you could only use that hub with Smash Brothers. I think you couldn't play any other game with a GameCube controller. Eh, that's very strange. But locked it onto that. I don't think they did that with the Switch one, or if you plug it in, the, the Wii U one into the Switch. I think you use it for other things, I don't know. Uh oh, he's getting arms! Yeah, I, I agree. I, 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 think, I think that's why they changed their tune. Times have changed, people expect certain features. And uh, yeah, I agree. Kind of, I think we're gone with the, the era of disc controllers only with this device. Uh oh, he got legs. Uh oh, he's shooting uh, only pin rockets at me. <laughs> Except iOS. Oh, I thought I defeated him. No, he's not dead. Kill the bowling ball. Uh oh, he got sneaky arm now. You know what I don't like? Apple started making up like horrible shit and then Samsung copied it. It's like, why? You notice that? Apple's like, oh, we're not going to let you have access to the battery. Samsung said, okay, we're going to copy that. And then Apple's like, we're going to take out the headphone jack. And then Samsung's like, okay, us too. Like, no, stop copying Apple's horrible things. But like, if you wanted those things, then it was great to go to Samsung, right? But now they're just as bad as Apple. Hey, wake up and find Maggie. Ready? Go! Slap, 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 slap. Slap, 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 slap. I won the slapping contest. Nice. <laughs> look, look at Bart his tongue sticking out. He's like. I'm trying to pick up the bowling ball. Oh, I missed. Oh, let's see how long I can hold on to the hammer. Like you can use an Xbox PlayStation controller on an Apple device, but not an controller on an Apple. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's weird how certain things work one way and certain things don't work another way. Also, like you can use an Xbox One controller on a Series S and X, but you can't use an Xbox One controller on an Xbox 360. Like I wish I could. I think it's all the same, but it's not. 
But like, I don't even know what a MEI controller is. I love you could pick up the alien and just throw it at the robot. <laughs> he goes back to his plan. Though. He's like, I have enough of this shit. I'm not. Head. Oh, dang, drop it. Oh, corn! Oh, I'm trying to get the corn. How dare you? That's cool corn, man. That's just a random power up. Just freaking corn cobs. I will beat you with this broom, bro. Ow. Who did it? Wiggle that stick. Need more apples. I didn't know apples grew on cherry blossoms. Okay. Ninja star hype. I love the Japanese interpretation of the Simpsons. It's like, oh, we gotta put ninjas in here, and we gotta put like a shogun. We got, we gotta put Mount Fuji and stuff. It's like, all right, totally fine with me. could like actually like turn into Bartman like you know like when they all come flying in when they uh, come back to life I wish that that was like a power up that's the only complaint I have about this game I wish kind of like how X-Men had a mutant power I kind of wish you could just like have a limited um, use of like you turn into a superhero and you just throw everything on the screen or something I think that would have been cool make this guy up or was he in the cartoon? That was dead already. Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? <laughs> oh, there's are Smithers.
Welcome to my world. <laughs> I didn't know Smithers was Japanese. I'm toastified, man. I remember uh, Smithers wearing a cape and throwing bombs. Or two. He did. Everybody being all shifty eyed in the background. Yeah, I think you have to hit him for him to drop bombs. Quarters, this would have been a lot. He has unlimited bombs. funny that, like, I don't think he ever did this in the cartoon, but this is something Mr. Burns would do. He kind of would make, like, a giant suit, like, like throwing a atomic bomb. Breaking apart. Again, imagine how many quarters. Big. Body takes a lot of hits. It's way easier when you have other players. What the hell are you, man? Oh, we did it. This is my favorite. One hit. 